Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Royer. This is a recording, so you can see me, but I can't see you. I look forward to a time when we're together and can see each other real soon. Today, we're going to look back at this story. Who remembers what this story is called? That's right. It's the three little pigs. But instead of reading this one right here, I'd like to read an alternative or different version. So I found a version on Epic Books. Remember, Epic Books is where we can read stories online or have them read to us. Well, I found a version of The Three Little Pigs on Epic Books, and I'd like to share that with you now. So I'm going to share my screen just like that. All right, here we are, The Three Little Pigs. Now, this version in my hand is retold by Bonnie Dobkin, but the one here on Epic Books is by M.J. York and illustrated by Laura Fierro Close. So this is a classic fairy tale. So you can find lots and lots of different versions of it everywhere, including here on Epic Books. All right, let's take a look at the story. Once upon a time, an old mother pig and her happy family fell into misfortune. And so she sent her three little pigs out into the world to make their own way. Now, misfortune is a word that means the opposite of fortune. So fortune can be like money or good luck. So they're saying they've run into some bad luck. So maybe they don't have much money or maybe it just means bad luck or both. The first little pig went out into the world he soon settled down and built himself a little house of straw. Before long, a big bad wolf came along and he saw the little house of straw. He looked in the window and he saw the first little pig inside. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and he called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the first little pig cried, now you can help me with this phrase. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Here's the big bad wolf's phrase. Help me with this too. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the big bad wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The big bad wolf found the first little pig and he gobbled him up. Um, 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 um. The second little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built him house, his, himself a house of sticks. Before long, the big bad wolf came along and he saw the little house of sticks. He looked in the window and saw the second little pig inside. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and he called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig cried, help me with this part. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Help me again. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Crowd the big wet wolf. So he huffed and he puffed. And he blew the house down. <sighs> he found the second little pig and he gobbled him up. Um, 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 um. Now, why don't you take a pause in the video now because the big bad wolf is coming up to the third little pig's house, the one that's made of bricks. And you can make a prediction on what's gonna happen next. I'll wait. Good work. The third little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and he built himself a little house of bricks. Before long, the big bad wolf came along and he saw the little house of bricks. He looked in the window and he saw the third little pig inside. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and he called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the third little pig cried, Help me with this part. 
not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Help me again. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the big bad wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed again, but he could not blow down the house of bricks. So I'd like you to pause the video now and talk about why the big bad wolf could blow down a house of straw. He could blow down a house of sticks, but he cannot blow down a house of bricks. Why not? I'll wait. Good work. The big bad wolf knew he would have to be clever to catch the third little pig. Little pig, he called. I know wh where to pick the sweetest turnips. Come out and I'll show you. No, thank you, said the pig politely. He knew the wolf was trying to trick him. I don't like turnips. And the big bad wolf went away. The next day, the big bad wolf came back. Little pig, he called. I'm going to the fair. Will you come with me? No, thank you, said the pig. I have no money for a fair. And the big bad wolf went away. The next day, the big bad wolf came back once more. Little pig, he called out. The best apples grow in Farmer Brown's garden. Come out and I'll show you where they are. The pig knew the big bad wolf would never leave him alone, so he had a plan. I'll meet you tomorrow at five o'clock, he replied. The next day, the pig ran out of his house at four o'clock, ran to Farmer Brown's garden, picked a big basket of apples and ran home again. He put a big pot on the fire to heat water for his tea and the big bad wolf came back at five o'clock. Little pig, he called, are you ready to go to Farmer Brown's garden? I've already been and come home again, said the pig. At this, the wolf grew angry. He had tried to trick the pig three times and it had not worked. He wanted to eat the pig now. So let's pause the video now, take a look at the picture and what you know about the story and make a prediction what will happen next. I'll wait. Good, he got a running start and he leaped high into the air. He landed on the roof with a thud. He jumped down the chimney and splash landed in the big pot of boiling hot water. That was the end of the wolf and the little pig lived happily ever after in his little brick house. So that's the end of this version of the story. So I'm gonna get going, but I would like you to talk about with your teacher, how is that version different than this version here and different than the Disney animated cartoon version that we watched the other day? How are they the same and how are they different? All right, I'm gonna go, bye-bye.